what is the most likely explanation? Both fuel switches were cut off. We know that Boeing has conducted those extensive tests. There is no error, at least it would appear, on the part of the aircraft. So what are we looking at here? Human error, pilot intervention, or something else entirely, do you think? Well, at this point, I would say there's, there's three options. The first one would be pilot suicide. Now, bearing in mind that, technically speaking, when, when, when they were going down the runway, the first officer was flying, OK? So when they got to the decision speed, the first officer's hands would have both been on the yoke. And then as they rotate the airplane, he'll be pulling back on the yoke. And as they get a positive rate of climb, he will call gear up. And then the captain would have put his hand over to bring the landing gear up. Now, we know the landing gear from this footage. You can see the landing gear was down all the time. So the gear wasn't actually brought up. So could the captain have gone over and put cut off the, the two fuel levers to cut off? That's a possibility. And that's why what you hear one pilot say, why did you cut off the fuel? And the other one say, no, I didn't. So did the one that said, no, I didn't, was he saying a lie or was he saying the truth? So we don't know. I mean, I would say it's probably 70% that it was pilot suicide, but then you need to ask yourself the question, well, why would he commit suicide? Apparently the captain, his mother had just passed away and he wanted to retire early and look after his father. So I'm not quite sure there if he was motivated to kill himself and, and, and 200 other people with him. Uh, so that's, that's one option. The other option would be a malfunction of some sort on the aircraft that made both engines cut off. And the other one would be sabotage or a hack. Now, can this airplane be hacked? It can be hacked. It means that someone that's going to hack it has to be highly skilled. They have to have access to the aircraft on the ground, do what they need to do on the ground, and then be able to action that uh, remotely once the aircraft takes off or set it, set it up so that it would uh, kick into gear a few seconds once the airplane was in the air. So that's certainly something that the accident investigators should be looking into. I'm quite surprised no one's been talking about sabotage or hack, but if it's a hack or a sabotage, the question needs to be, well, why would someone hack or sabotage this aircraft? What's their motive? Um, and, and the investigators need to do their research.